Hi, I'm Paul D'Amico. I'm the Director of Security and Emergency Management here at Craven Community College. I want to introduce you to three important survival options to survive an active shooter or armed assailant situation on campus. There are three things you can do to make a difference. You can run, you can hide, or you can fight. If you run, you should run away from the sound of gunfire, if you can do so safely, and there is an escape path. Leave your belongings behind. Exit the building with your hands up, proceed to the nearest rally point, and remember that rally point maps are posted in every classroom. Once you are safe, call 911. If you choose to hide, hide if you are trapped in a building and a hostile situation is occurring. Hide in a manner that you cannot be found. Secure your hiding place, silence the ringer on your cell and remain quiet. Stay calm, do not leave your hiding place until the all clear is announced by the emergency notification system or law enforcement orders you to evacuate the building. And the other option is fight. Remember, it is a last resort. You fight because your life depends on it. Attempt to incapacitate the shooter by any means necessary. Improvise weapons by using a chair, a laptop computer, an umbrella, or books in the classroom, whatever is available. Act with physical aggression. Commit to your actions. Do not stop until the shooter is down and weaponless. Law enforcement response to an active shooter. Remember that initial responding officers will attempt to stop the threat and will not stop to treat injured. You may be treated as hostile and may be searched and interviewed. You may be required to leave personal belongings behind such as backpacks and purses so that they can be searched for explosives. Keep your hands up and obey all commands. You may be escorted and evacuated and taken to a staging area for medical triage and or counseling. This is your life. It is your option to run, hide, or fight. For more information about Craven Community College's emergency procedures, please contact the Campus Security Department anytime, day or night.